everyone, the Game Chief here. Today we're going to be talking about the bombshell of changes that was dropped on us from CF Tools recently. We're going to be going over all the changes, what exactly they mean, and what you're going to need to know during this transition period. And before we begin, I just want to say I am not affiliated with CF Tools in any way, and this video is simply to share the information of the changes as we currently know them. So what is the big change? As expected, CF Tools is finally going to be switching over to a subscription model with a free tier versus their current slots are kind of free, just ask for them and get added to a waitlist type of model. This was expected and I'm kind of surprised this didn't happen earlier on since CF Tools has been around since about 2017 or so. CF Tools Omega is being transitioned into CF Tools Cloud and CF Tools Omega will be shutting down soon. And when I say Omega, I mean Control Panel, Omega, it's the same thing, it's just kind of called differently depending on who you ask, but the official name's Omega. I'm going to leave a link to their blog post along with their Discord server, which has all this information and a few channels for everyone to ask questions if you want. From my point of view, it looks like CF Tools is finally making this change to focus on new features and general improvements on their service. They've also incorporated recently, which makes sense with the current changes that they're making. Moving along, the first huge change that's going to be happening is the moving to the subscription model that they're doing. This should help remove the issues with resource availability from the picture. So let's go over some of the new plans that they're going to be and kind of see exactly what those plans are offering. So the good news is there is still a free tier. The free tier is supposed to be free forever, but it only has some of the basic functionality. It does advertise all features being available during the transition phase, so that should be up until about May 10th or so. And it allows you to have one server and one ban list. The free tier does not allow you to have access to Teams. And when I spoke to Philip about this, just asking a little bit, he essentially said Teams are going to be like a permissions framework so you can have multiple levels of people. So from kind of my takeaway from it is you could have like say your helpers, your moderators, your admins, all with different permission levels, so say a moderator can't kick or ban an admin or something along those lines. So it looks like it's just going to be a permission framework that you'll be able to use just to make things for bigger servers essentially is what's going to use this. If you're on the free tier, you're not going to be able to use it, but realistically I don't think you'll need it at that point. The second tier is the basic tier, which is 6 euros per month or about 720 USD per month. It has all the basic functionality, geo-regional resources, and apparently more features coming soon. It allows you to have two servers, one ban list, and then one team, so you'll be able to use the team's feature there. And then there's the pro subscription model, which is 10 euros per month, or about 12 USD per month. It includes all of the previous features, along with dedicated resources. It doesn't clarify on the website, but my kind of general idea is, instead of being on a pool with lots of shared resources and other key servers and stuff like that, You'll be on servers with less people, so you should get, you know, a better experience, slightly better performance. It won't necessarily be a full dedicated server to you, I would assume, because that'd be a bit overkill, but just kind of more priority in the resource dedication, from my understanding, would be the, my guess on what they're going to be doing there. Again, it also advertises more features coming soon, so we'll see what those are going to look like. It allows you to have five servers, two ban lists, and then two teams. And then the final one is the community version, which is 20 euros per month or about 24 USD per month. Has all those previous features, priority support, again, more features. And then the servers, ban list, and teams are all marked as fair use. And for this, I'm just going to go ahead and read off the quote of what they define as fair use. Fair use based plans allow you to create as many resources as you want, as long as you do not hurt the infrastructure with the amount of resources deployed. Furthermore, it is only allowed to use your fair use plan for your own projects. So you can't onboard third parties for free or resell the services. That is a violation of the agreement. So this seems like this will only be for really big communities with more than five servers. So only a select handful of people should actually really need this. And now that we've kind of gone over the change to the subscription model, we can just go ahead and go over a few things of what you're going to need to know. So some of the important dates that you'll want to know is that CF Tools Omega SAS control panel will continue to run until May 10th, 2021. At that point, all Omega services will be shut down and you'll need to have migrated to CF Tools Cloud or another provider by then. From what I'm hearing, it sounds like all the links will just auto redirect to Omega Cloud then after that. Even if you donated before, you will still need to get a subscription for CF Tools Cloud if you don't want to use the free version. A donation is just that, a donation, so donating previously does not mean you're entitled to one of the paid subscriptions. And of course, it's not a full migration guide, 
that will be coming in a few days or so. There is a full uh, transition guide in the transition guide channel on their Discord server. But here are a few of the key points. You'll need to go to the new CF Tools Cloud website at cftools.cloud. You will need to create a new account and you can use the username and password or use Steam for authentication like before. Once this is done, you can use the free plan or subscribe to one of the pay plans. It is going to be kind of very similar to the old Omega slash control panel with all the settings. So you should be able to figure out kind of adding it and all that. Not all of your data is going to be transferred over. Players will be transferred, but their stats will not be. Ban lists, whitelist, and priority queues should all be transferred over. You will need to completely re-add your servers into there and reconfigure them. So, you know, re-enter your Archon password, reset up your commands, stuff like that. And because there's been an overhaul of the permissions framework, you will have to go ahead and re-enter all those permissions. It is also worth noting that the CF Tools DayZ plugin has been replaced by the Game Labs plugin. It works almost the same way so you'll just have to replace that and replace your new API key in there as well. It's also worth noting that the actual shutdown date of Omega varies based on which messages you look at. Some of them state May 10th, 2021, while others are saying May 7th, 2021. So I would recommend if you are going to migrate, you should migrate over as soon as possible. So what does this mean exactly for Omega Manager? CF Tools has made it very clear Omega Manager will not be shut down and is going to work the same way for the most part. You will need to download the latest omegamanager.exe from the download page as it looks like the current one's not going to be auto updating until after the shutdown happens of Omega. And from everything I can see and in my testing, you can still use Omega Manager to create your DAISY servers via the interface. You're not going to have to use CF Tool Clouds if you don't want to. So you can still have all your you know local servers, stuff like that, if you don't want to use it. So it really looks like Omega Manager is not changing at all. So it really looks like Omega Manager is not really changing at all, just having a few things change around to support the new CF Tools cloud functions and stuff like that. And it looks like you'll be able to continue to use Omega Manager as before without using the CF Tools cloud if you do not want to. And while editing this video and double checking everything, I did catch something I did not see earlier when I was first looking at this. So on their blog post, and this was also posted on their Discord server as well, I didn't catch this, but they did write in here that another announcement I want to make is that Omega Manager will be replaced with an overhauled system in 2021. The new system will bring some much needed upgrades to the system. Right now, Omega Manager will branch out into two versions, Server Manager and Omega Manager. Server Manager will get everything CF tools removed and will be unmaintained. So that's why we now see two download links is what it looks like. We have the two download links there on the download page. So you have the old one and then the new one. And then Omega Manager will get updated to work with CF Tools Cloud, but only support will be provided to individuals with a CF Tools Cloud subscription. So what I'm kind of getting out of this is that the newest version of Omega Manager isn't going to require a cloud subscription or anything like that. However, their support system's not going to be taking tickets unless you have an active subscription, which I guess that does kind of make sense, but it's something to look out for. And we'll only kind of see it with time, but it looks like Omega Manager will stay around. It's just support on their website will only go if you have a subscription. And I think that does include the free one. So if you're on CF Tools Cloud and you have the free subscription, the free one slot one, then I think you'll still, you know, no problem with support or anything like that. But I think it's if you are not running anything on cloud, then you're not going to be able to get support from their system. Only time will really tell. This is still very early on, but I did catch this while editing and figured I'd throw that in there. So overall, for my thoughts, I honestly think this is a fair change. The product has been essentially offered for free based only on donations since 2017. And since such a huge portion of DAISY communities utilize CF tools, it makes sense for the overall health and longevity of the project to switch to a subscription model to ensure it stays around. And this also kind of allows them to expand like they've been wanting to do, so it looks like the plan is to expand into Arma 3 and Rust and even expand into Daisy on other platforms such as PS4 and stuff like that. So at this point it does make sense for this change to happen and I think it is fair and I'm really glad that they're keeping the free tier around for one server and the fact that Omega Manager is going to stay around and nothing's going to really change with that either. And that's about it. If you have questions I'll try to answer them in the comments below but I would highly suggest you ask them on the CF Tools Discord instead as they have the dedicated channels for those questions relating to the transition. And if necessary, you can always open a support ticket on the CF Tools Cloud website if you're unable to get your question answered on their Discord. And that's about it. I should have the transitioning to CF Tools Cloud video out from Omega in the next day or so, hopefully. 
And other than that, if you guys have any video suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. And other than that, have a good one.